Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 76, Lighting Part 5, and we're going to be looking at point lights today. Now what a point light is, is a light given a particular position rather than a direction. And what we're going to end up doing is computing the uh, direction a value based off the position for every vertex. And I'll be doing that in the vertex shader here. So let's go ahead and jump in and see exactly kind of what I mean. It's a little, a little unclear, and when we look at the actual uh, box, you'll be very clear on it. So as we come down into our code, everything looks vaguely familiar, and especially if you've been watching, it should be look very familiar, until we get to here. So now we have this new uniform, and it's U light position. And we'll go ahead and use that down here in the draw. As per usual, we'll be iterating through, and then we're going to see if we're in the render state. We're going to go ahead and set the U light position based off these values that we're passing in. And then, again, we'll be going and computing our normal matrix here and providing that as well from the previous episode. And nothing else is happening down here. So how are we going to be using this? Let's go ahead and look. So here's the new U light position. And here's the normal from last time in our vertex that we've always had. And here's where we're going to be doing the new stuff. We're going to compute the light direction. And to do that, what we need to do is we're going to take the U light position and subtract the vertex position in the VEC3 and normalize it. And that's going to be the new normal that we use to compute the n dot light. Uh, so we're going to use that with the normal. And so before we had been passing in the light direction, but not the light position, which we're now calculating uh, on the fly here. So now, how does that look and why is it a little different? You can really clearly see uh, as we rotate this object, we have the point light that's definitely darker and brighter from coming from that above position. So you can see our vertices as they change, how the light changes. Uh, and that's how the point light works. So think of it as like a flashlight. It's a point light. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video on uh, YouTube. That'll help me a lot. Share on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. And follow me on Twitter. Thank you. Have a great one.